Hi, it's Emily, and we're talking again about templating app. It's a super powerful tool for Jira Cloud that can save you tons of time and effort on your reoccurring Jira workflows. Today, I wanna to show you our behavior builder for create screen templates. With this feature, admins can control how fields behave when creating new issues. They can hide or show fields and enable or disable them, so you'll never find any irrelevant information on your issues again. With create screen behaviors, admins can also provide structured information on how to fill out fields for new issues, so users can consistently and effortlessly include all relevant steps. And the best part is you can do all of this without any scripts or coding. So let's jump right in. For this video, we'll take a look at an example use case for IT teams and how admins can provide specific information on how to fill out bug tickets. First, navigate to templating app. Go to apps in the top level navigation within your Jira Cloud instance and click on templating app from the list of available apps. If you have admin permissions, you will find the behavior builder displayed right here. Click on that and then feel free to take a look at some of the examples provided under the examples button. You can also find a link to our YouTube playlist in the top right corner of this video now for more information and tutorials. Anyway, let's continue here in templating app and add our first template. Now we can start to predefine the information for the create screen. So the first step is to add a name, bug report, and add a description. This is how to create a new bug report. The next step is to choose the project and issue type. Here, you're not restricted to a certain project or issue type. You can simply add multiple projects and issue types that this template would apply to. Moving on to execution, this is where we can define when the template should be applied during execution. You can decide if you want it to run immediately after clicking the create screen, only when a field used in a condition changes, every time any field changes, or you can show logs when there are any bugs happening. We'll choose the conditions next under which the modifications of the create screen should be applied. Here we can select always run the modification, only run the modification if all conditions are met and run modification if any of the following conditions are met. For this example, let's choose run the modification if all conditions are met. For condition type, let's select field condition for field, priority, and for condition, value equals any of, and then highest. So our modifications would only run if critical bugs get reported. Next, we can add the specific modifications of the issue create screen that should be applied. You can set a field value, make a field read only, show a field, hide a field, and many other options to individualize your issue create screen. Let's add a summary with the value bug report please enter description. Add a second modification by clicking here, and this one will let us define a specific description. And I'm going to simply copy and paste this in here to save time. We'll add another modification where we make the field required. We'll select assignee for the field so we can make sure critical bugs get addressed immediately, but by a specific employee that can best manage the high priority bugs. We can also add alternative modifications. So if the priority of an issue is not set as highest, the priority field automatically changes to lowest. The description in assignee would change as well as we don't need the detailed step-by-step -step description. And then the assignee could be someone in charge of distributing the non-highest priority bug issues to team members. When you're happy with your setup, click create in the bottom right hand corner. Now, an awesome part of this feature is the open create screen button. And we can find that if we click on the template we've just created and navigate to the bottom left of the template view sidebar. By clicking open create screen, you can get a preview of your template and see all the configurations we've just set up. So for example, when we set the priority to highest, we can see our modifications like the predefined description and employee. And voila, your issue create screen is finished. Now we'll go back to our project and create an issue. And we see the conditions, modifications, and predefined fields we have just seen in the last screen, showing that we've successfully completed our template building process. So as we've just seen, Behavior Builder is a very powerful feature with endless possibilities to modify the issue create screen to your specific needs. You can control how fields behave when creating new issues and provide structure on how to fill out fields within a new issue. And best of all, without any scripting or coding. Templating app is available on the Atlassian Marketplace and you can start your free trial today. All the links that you'll need are in the description below. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment 
comment or you can contact us directly. As always, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.